As many of you know, back in May last year, we um, went to Canada. We did a three week, I think it was a bit longer than three week, a bit of a three week tour. Um, we left here highly stressed and tired, um, thanks mostly to um, the house renovation being um, prolonged arduous um, and stressful. We spent weeks um, in Mark's bunker, me without a kitchen, a proper kitchen and um, the, the lounge where we relax and enjoy life <laughs> out of bounds. And so when we left, um, the, ha the house was put back together again in uh, about five days before we left. Um, so there was a lot of work for us to do before we left and um, so we were very tired when we left and we, you know, most of you know that we lead a very quiet life here, um, not really doing much and um, relaxing a lot. And um, in the weeks, along with the house uh, renovations going on, we visited a rheumatologist in Poitiers um, for Mark's knees and he gave Mark um, steroid injections. He did one knee first, um, the right knee, which obviously Mark sub subsequently had replaced. Um, Mark woke up the next morning amazed. So we went back and he had the left knee done. And then a few weeks later we went back and had um, he had hyaluronic acid um, injected into his knee, which would was to help lubricate them. So we did all we could to um, make sure that Mark's were, knees were in the best possible state for us to do the trip. Little did we know that that was not gonna be enough. And um, by the time we reached Toronto, which was our first, um, first port of call, I think it may have been in Toronto or, but by the time we got to Canada, by the time we really started, Mark was already struggling with his knees. Um, he'd done, you know, uh, the train travel up, up to Paris, upstairs, downstairs. Um, just all of the upstairs, downstairs walking that you need to do um, to, to travel. Um, so I uploaded a load. When we got back, we were absolutely shattered. Um, I don't think we ever recovered from how tired we'd been before we started. Um, and we crossed, I think it was five time zones whilst we were there. So not only had we traveled eight hours, um, can't remember which way now. I can't remember, well, I can remember which way. We arrived in Canada at three o'clock in the afternoon, I think, or five o'clock in the afternoon, and we'd left Paris at one o'clock. So we'd gone back. We'd gone back in time. Yeah, we'd gone back in time. And we continued to do that as we travelled across Canada a few days later on the Canadian um, train. So by the time we reached Vancouver, we were several hours behind, never having time to catch up. And... Um, and then travelled back by car a few days later into Banff and then had a 13 hour journey home. Um, no, it was 13 hours in the air. It wasn't a 30, I can tell you it wasn't 13 hours a journey home. It was, it was a horrible journey. Um, and when we got home, we'd known for weeks that we'd lost jazz and that had been um, desperate to know that she'd gone missing within the first week. I think we were, I think we were still in Niagara Falls when we knew that she'd gone missing. Nobody could get near her. People had got close and, she, but she'd hissed at them, was inaccessible under a hedge. And then she wasn't seen a couple of times. It was noted that she'd come in for food, but by the time we got home, there was food here that she'd not touched. We had no idea where she was. And um, we got in at about eight o'clock in the evening, I think, and sat recovering on the on the patio, calling her. And 
we could hear her so we knew she was alive which was such a relief she was calling back we could hear approximately where she was calling from um she didn't come any nearer so she as she called back to us the call wasn't becoming any nearer and it was another 12 hours before she turned up at the door in a really really poor state so as you can imagine um after all of that um it's taken i can't believe it's taken till now january 2024 for me to be able to look at some of the vlogs that I didn't publish and actually watch them and enjoy them and not feel so jaded that they just don't look um, pub publishable or inspiring. Um, it's like, oh, that again, oh, that again. And that's not how it's looking to me today. So what you'll see over the next few days is me publishing a few more vlogs from back then. Um, you know, some of them might be too long. Some of them are the same old, same old. But the, I think that about when I do the road trips here. I do the, the road trip vlogs and think, well, you know, we've done this before. and But there are people that like them and enjoy them and seeing the different scenery. I know for me, as we travelled across Canada, it was fascinating looking at all the different scenery i really enjoyed it even the prairies that people had said to me oh the prairies you'll be bored with that well i wasn't so i have published them and i am publishing them they're not in order so our our, our route was um we we traveled to toronto from paris um a couple of days later traveled down to niagara falls a couple of, a couple of days later traveled back up to Toronto, um, stayed overnight and then got onto the train the following morning. Um, uh, the train vlog was, the, 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 the boarding the train vlog was published back around about the time we boarded the train. And there was a comment, as I recall, of somebody going, oh, look at all those fat asses dressed in nylon. And I just thought, that is so typical, isn't it? It's like, you didn't notice the beautiful architecture in the station. You didn't notice the the grandeur of the train which i just think is amazing the train it's like it's big and it's you know it's got such history attached to it but you notice the ni the nylon bums so yeah um that was a long trek onto the train again mark's knees by the time i was struggling because it's too far for me to walk but his knees again by the time we got onto the train i think he his knees were not were not good um so yeah, I, I, some, some of the vlogs I published back then, some of them I'm now publishing. So there's no order to them. And um, that ain't gonna happen. That's not, I'd need to be wide awake to be able to do that. So I just thought I'd warn you that that's what's coming up. Um, and um, I hope those of you that want to see them enjoy them and those that the, those of you that think that they're bollocks and boring then go and look at something else. I've been inspired because I've been watching the um, One Day More Narrowboat vlogs. She makes lovely vlogs. She does really good editing. There's music, nice gentle music. It's very, very peaceful. So they're really nicely edited vlogs and I admire her Christine for is it Christine or Caroline I'm not gonna say um but I admire her for teaching herself to edit well done you and I, uh, I've not taught myself that yet I say yet I don't, don't think that's gonna happen either um so I've been watching that so that's inspired me to go back and look at some of the unpublished material from Canada and um, just meant to say last night when I was making the vlog, um, I watched a vlog, also Narrowboat, which uh, May, who I've subscribed to, who is a young, I feel like I'm repeating myself now, um, a young um, woman who lives on a narrowboat most of the time, I'm repeating myself. I'm going to say it again because I may not be. Um, I watched her vlog um, last night and watched so I've watched Caroline or Christy Caroline Christy and her husband Pete go through this um 
lock on, on the on the Oxford Canal. It's a very deep log, lock. It's 12 feet deep. And I watched them go through and I'm thinking, that's the same one I watched May go through. And then they went under the bridge, which was 195. I thought, I'm sure that's the one that May had problems with. Um, so have a look. Rather than me repeat myself, have a look at May. It's her last vlog. She's putting her boat away for winter, taking it away for winter. Very anxious about going through this lock. I'm not surprised when you watch it. I don't know how she did it. I don't know how she got through the bridge that Caroline, Christine, Pete went through was not broken. Um, it was open. And when, uh, not bridge, the lift bridge, when they got there, it wasn't um, open. It was broken. And she had to use every ounce of strength in her tiny body to get that bridge open so she could go under it. I don't know how she did it. Um, so heads up to her. Amazing. I'll put links into their vlogs um, in this vlog. But this is mainly about I'm publishing Canadian vlogs out of order and for your entertainment. OK, it's lovely. It's beautiful out here. It's so bright, as you can see. Blue sky, as you can't see. Hold on. Now you're in the sun. Blue sky. I was interested in the logs. I was thinking, we've really gone through, not really gone through them. This is what happens every winter. So you look at the logs like six months ago and you think, oh God, I've got loads of wood. But actually, the um, that's what we had, the last lot that we had delivered is here. Um... So there's probably two pallets gone, or is it three? One, two, three pallets gone behind here. Then there was a, this pallet here was our wood that had been stacked by um, my son when he was here. And Mark's just finished going through this pallet and it started on that one last night. And then he needs to come back in this direction on these pallets. Hopefully that will be it. But I can't believe, well I can believe, it happens a lot. Anyway, that's how lovely it is out here. So the wind's coming from the east. And we are going to get, I think, Britain and northern, northern France... We're going to get very high winds. There's a storm coming across the Atlantic, um, which will catch northern France, catch Britain, northern parts of Britain. Are you running around? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> um. <laughs> what are you doing? I think she's got something on her foot. She keeps licking it. Yeah, so on Monday evening, today is Saturday, Monday evening we've got wet and windy dew, but not quite as bad as they're going to have it in northern France. Okay, I'm going in now because it's cold, but beautiful. Voila.